in our last video we um, called the Flickr API got some public photos and displayed them on a screen and so I just want to modify that a little bit I wanted to show just one picture but I want to have some buttons that'll let us um, you know move her up down, up or down through the array um, selecting one at a time so I'm going to go out to github and grab the last to grab that project last one we worked on then we'll modify it so let me show you how we do that. You open up the terminal, you navigate to where you want to install it. I made a new folder called Flickr Search. So I want to install it in here. There's nothing in here. Which means I want to do a git clone. Um, and you can do this too if you want to go to GitHub and tlint001. That's going to bring down all the files I need. Easy enough. Now let's open up that file. Open up that folder rather. And we can see we have the files. But what we don't have are all these packages. We have a list that says we need the packages, but we don't actually have the packages. So in order to get them, the terminal's closed, so let's open it back up. I want to say npm install and um, you can see that we're extracting all the packages so it's taking it from here and looking them up and then installing them here if we look in this folder we can see that we have um, a lot why do we need so many for such a small application well because remember this is um, we ran a package that created the entire environment we needed to work in and um, so there's probably all sorts of potential I'm not even taking advantage of yet but the good thing is that it gets us up and running real easy so this should finish up in just a few more seconds it did okay, there's a couple things first of all I know that I have some alerts in here that I want to take out. And I also know, if you remember, we had um, the key. You need uh, the API key from Flickr to look these things up. And I didn't really want to share mine with yours, so I put it in this environment folder. Um, and I didn't put my key up onto GitHub because I didn't want anybody to need bots to find it. So when you clone it, you have to go and put your key in here. Now don't look. I'm going to put my key in here. I can't believe you looked. Save it. Go back to here. Um, now we should be in, in good shape. We should just be able to to uh, run it. npm start. npm start. And what we expect to see is um, what we expect to see is a page with 10 pictures on it because I specified 10 pictures and it's going to be of New York City apparently. What's this? Why is it showing this? I deleted those. Oh, you know why? Because I never saved it after I deleted it. Okay, well we did get our we did get our pictures. That's a cool picture. Um, so let me save this. Restart it. Okay, now we don't get those annoying alerts that show my key to the world. Um, so, what was my goal? My goal is to show just one picture. And then put some buttons on. We can look at the next or the previous. Now, knowing what I know about arrays, and this is just an array of pictures, I imagine I can just put an index of zero, and it'll show me the first one. I'm going to save that and expect one picture to show up. Cool. But since we don't want to hard code the index, right? So let's make that a state value. This dot state dot index value, which means that we put the index value here. Now if I save it, it just give us the same picture. Very good. 
one second. Okay, I'm back. There's some strange noise coming from outside. I wanted to make sure something wasn't going horribly wrong. So, so yeah, so I think uh, now that we know that we can just do it, we can have an index value. Let's add some buttons. So we have the picture here. In fact, let's um, just to help me keep track of what's going on, let's add something that tells me what index I'm at. Picture number um, this dot this dot state dot that. If I save that, it should say, okay, picture number zero. Oh, and it's changed already on us. The UN. Now let's add some buttons. I'll put another div in. And I'm going to, the button element's pretty easy. It's button. And I'll say previous button. I'll put a space between the buttons. Ampersand on break space. And the other one's going to be button next button. Save that. We should have two buttons. We do. They don't do anything, but you can click on them all you want. So we need some handlers. So um, since we're at the first picture, let me do this here. Since we're at the first picture, um, let's do the next button. Let's do the next button. That way we can go to number one. And the way we'll do that is um, use a class property actually. So we have to say on click, on click, as we all know, that equals to this dot the next handler. We'll call it. So next handler is actually equal to an anonymous function. Sorry, not curly braces, but rather like that. And what do we want next handler to do? We want when we click it, we want to increment to the next. Um, index. So let me say var current index equals this dot state dot blah and then current index plus plus and then this dot oops this dot set state we want to set the state of the um, index value to the current index and we want to remember to put curly braces in because that's what we do. Now when I save it, it'll look the same, but next should increment us, which is cool, except we bounce around a lot. So I want to I wanna keep all the pictures the same size, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to style it, even though that's not my strong point. I'm going to make a new class called, um, I don't know, I, I really don't know, picture, um, picture class, I don't know, um, and I'll make the height 400, 4400 pixels, no, 400 pixels, so the height is set, but the width will let make whatever it has to make to make this work. Save that. Um, now where do we apply that style? We actually apply it um, here. Remember we built the array of paths and then we built this, well, we looked at the path and built an array of images. So let's add the class name. And remember you have to have that capital N in there for this to work. I don't even remember what silly name I gave it, something ridiculous. Picture class. Um, picture class. Save it. I 
should all be the same. So that makes clicking through it easier. Um, pretty straightforward. So obviously we're going to have a previous handler. It'll be very similar to this next handler. Except that you want to decrement the account. And we need an on click. So on click equals this dot prev handler. Why? Oh, because I didn't finish it off. Save it. Now we should be able to go forward and backward. But if we go backward another one, we fall off the face of the earth. That's no good. Um, clearly we need some logic here. So we have the value. So this is the next handler. So if current index equals 9, if we're at the last one, then current index equals assign the value 0 to it, else do what we were doing. That should fix that. So if it goes up to 9, then set it back to 0. Let's find out. Save it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Good. And you can imagine that we're going to do the exact opposite over here. Not terrifically tricky. If it gets down to zero, then the current index equals nine. So now we're kind of hard coded for ten, right? We sh probably should fix that in case a person wants to see more pictures. But I'll save it. Um, so we're at zero. So if I go to previous, it should go to nine. Nine, eight. Cool, right? I think the next obvious step is that we put a search box in. So next video we'll put a search box in. Then we can search for whatever we want.